Hey everybody, it's Caleb here. Uh, today I finally get to show you the first major component of a build that I've been working on. Back almost a year ago now, I got the idea that it'd be cool to try to build a Shape Oko 3 from scratch. Now the reason I did this wasn't to say screw you to Carbide 3D. And it was definitely not because I thought I could build a superior machine. It was really just because I wanted to have a really big challenge. I wanted to do something that was fun and I really kind of have a fascination about these CNC machines and everything and I thought it'd be fun to try my hand at, at actually engineering one from scratch. The first major component is done essentially which is these rails and these are pretty heavy duty things so let's get to kind of talking about the specs on them. Just to go over the basic components that make up these rails uh, we pretty much have a at first we have this big extrusion that is two inches by four inches it's got a quarter inch thick walls and it is approximately 36 inches long. Mounted to the extrusion is this V rail and it's uh, hard coat anodized aluminum and it's bolted to the aluminum extrusion using M5 bolts. Bolted into each end is these one inch by one inch by quarter inch thick aluminum angles that are bolted in using quarter inch 20 bolts. A couple of the rules that I was working with is one it couldn't exceed the amount of money that a Shape Oko 3 was worth and two, I want it to be at least as good at performance as a Shape Oko 3 and potentially maybe even beat it out a little bit. Now, to assemble this stuff, I had to work with what I had available. I have a very small little benchtop mill out in the garage. Essentially, what I did is I took the angle aluminum, cut it down to size, and then clamped up the main extrusion in the mill. Then I figured out some way to clamp the angle into the end of the extrusion and then started drilling and then I tapped the angle and put it back in with the quarter inch 20 bolts. After I did both of the pieces of angle in one end I flipped it over on its side and then used a really long end mill to mill the whole thing uh, flush and square or as square as you're gonna get with this little thing. I made up a little jig on my X-carve to accurately place the four holes on the ends of the extrusions then I drilled and tapped the marked locations. Finally was the semi-arduous task of mounting all of the rails to the three extrusions. Now it's important for me to reiterate and stress this is a challenge and a kind of an experiment if you will. It's not meant to be something that makes a better Shape Oko 3. It's me wanting to do something that is challenging. So anyways, I'm hoping to have a bunch more videos put out on this thing as I'm um, going along, which I'm hoping to be able to upload those at a regular pace, hopefully. So if you like this video, like it. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and, you know, see the rest of the project as it comes together, just hit the subscribe button and you'll get all of the updates on this thing. And hopefully it won't be like, oh no, it's burning. I don't know. It's going to be fun. I'm a little bit worried, nervous, but also excited and having a great time so far thinking about it and all the possibilities. With that, have a great day and uh, go make something.